Welcome everyone to a new game here at Neepit Gaming called Open Wheel Manager. Now this game was released just a few days ago on Steam through the early access platform, so I'm sure it's still going to have uh, some bugs and some of the normal things you associate with an early access th game that has not quite reached its release version. If you've been with the channel for a while, you know that a while back we had quite a bit of fun with Motorsport Manager. And Motorsport Manager was a game I spent hundreds of hours in. In fact, still to this day, I uh, have the urge to go back and play it from time to time. So we're going to see if Open Wheel Manager has that same addictive quality to it, to where you always want to just keep going. One more r race, one more weekend, and one more season. Hopefully that it does, and it's a game that we can play quite a bit here on the channel because I absolutely love this style of game. Now, I have spent very little time in the game to this point. Basically, I downloaded the demo, which is available through Steam, and spent 10 or 15 minutes just seeing if it was something that I wanted to purchase and bring to the channel. And once I made that decision, I exited the game, and here we are. So one of the things I love doing here on the channel is learning these games along with you guys through the video. So I have not spent hours and hours playing around with this game. We're going to learn it together. Now you see we have a very minimalist main menu here. We have new game, load game, preferences, and then of course quit. If we take a look at the preferences, again, very minimalist. We have our choice of language, which we're going to be using English, and then do you want it in full screen. For our purposes, we'll be using full screen. And we do not have any games to load right now, no saves to come back to. Uh, the good part there is if you're getting into mods uh, later on as the game develops, then that gives you the ability to have multiple saves and use different mods in each of your saves. So that could be a very good tool going forward. And as soon as we click on new game, we are met with a mod screen. So we can select our mods. The example mod, I believe, is a Formula One mod. We're not going to be using it uh, today. We're going to be using the default database. But keep in mind, uh, my understanding is most everything we're going to see from the list of teams to the tracks to the schedule and so on are all moddable through the game. And again, we'll see how that develops over uh, the course of the game's development and as we approach the release version. So we're not going to choose any mods. Instead, we're going to use the default database. And we're met with a list of teams. And to the right, you can see each of the team and where they are in the different categories. So we'll have some with very strong cars and maybe some weaker infrastructure or drivers and some vice versa. Better infrastructure, but not necessarily a good car. So right now, Let's see, I'm going to look for one of the weaker teams. Okay, so Penardi Racing looks like they're going to be one of the weaker teams. And, oh, okay, Omega GP, yes, very weak in most of the categories except for the drivers. So we'll choose them. We'll go with Omega GP. We'll click on Continue, and we're met with what will be the screen, our main screen that we'll spend quite a bit of time at, I'm sure, during the course of the game. All right, so let's take a look at what we've got. We've got our team logo in the top left-hand corner. We've got free staff. Uh, we've got 30 and 30. I believe this is going to be designers and engineers, probably something along those lines. We've got our amount of money, which is looks like $124 million, I'm guessing, is what that stands for. And then we've got, looks like, our settings here on the side. We've already seen preferences. There's not a whole lot there. Uh, we can go back to the main menu or create a save or quit. Okay, so very basic options there. And then down the left-hand side, we've got our office screen. Looks like we can't click there, okay? We can go to our news. And as we are at the very beginning, at the bottom of the screen, you'll see the uh, apparently the week that we're on of the season. Okay, so we've got a couple of retirement announcements there here at the very beginning of the game. If we go to championship, we have... Okay, our list of drivers, and here you can see a couple of our drivers. And then our calendar, which is extremely important. Now, these first few weeks, it uh, looks like week seven. So we've got time to do some work, uh, probably some uh, product development, I would, I would guess, before we get going. So week seven, uh, this appears to be a test session. 
And so this gear icon is probably means test session on each of these, if I'm guessing. Yes. Okay, so each of these are a test session before we get to Brazil in week 14 to start the season. Okay, I'm also noticing as we go through the weeks, uh, we have tire wear, fuel consumption, uh, overtaking stats, and then the rain possibility at each of the tracks. Okay, and then of course our important parts. Uh, so again, a lot of similarities here to Motorsport Manager. Some things that uh, will certainly strike you as different, and we'll just have to see how this goes. Uh, but for right now, they're certainly giving us some information about the track, uh, about the weather, and so on. So it looks like we got three test sessions coming up. We know we have the weakest car on the grid, so we'll have to see if we can get some things done before we get to uh, week number one in Brazil, if we're able to make it that far in today's video. As always here on the channel, if this is a video that you guys are supporting and really enjoying, then we'll keep going with the series. Otherwise, it'll be something I will play offline and maybe periodically uh, come back to. All right, so mailbox looks like we've got the week one, uh, which is a welcome message for us. All right, so let's some very basic information there, which will be more important as time goes on, particularly the calendar and the championship to let us know how things are going. Then we come to our team section. Let's go to the overview and let's see. These are likely our drivers at the top. Yeah, given these salaries, I'm guessing that these are going to be our drivers as well as uh, their crew chief or team lead, uh, depending on how you approach those. Okay, so head mechanics down below. Uh, then we've got, looks like our designer. Wow, very good speed here. Uh, not necessarily the best quality, but very good speed. Okay, then we've got our information about contracts. One thing I immediately notice here is all of our contracts seem to be up at the end of this season. So we're going to have some work to do for next season along the way uh, with signing some people. Okay, then we've got our engine, I believe is what... Uh, this denotes we've got power, so very good power in this engine. Uh, reliability, not bad. The weight is definitely going to be on the heavy side. And then you can see our amount of money. We'll have to get a grasp on how much money we're going to need to spend, so what our budget can be along the way. Uh, then we've got, let's see, our staff levels. Engineer 3, I would assume that the higher the number, the better. We've got salary budgets. Uh, again, not sure how that's going to affect things as we go. We've got an upgrade button, which looks like it's going to add some additional levels and staff along the way, as well as how much time that's going to take. So we've got engineers, commercial, design, and mechanics. Looks like we've got some pretty good mechanics here. Um, we've certainly got several staff. Okay, so we'll have to see how all this works together along the way. Uh, and again, we've got $124 million, it appears, to get started. If we take a look at next season, yes, this is where we have no contracts for next season. Not sure about the engine. It doesn't really give us the ability to search for a new engine there. So maybe we're sort of stuck with our engine supplier. Uh, I'm not sure how that works. Again, we'll have to find out. And then finally, in the bottom right-hand corner of this section is our sponsors. How many sponsors look like? we got several sponsors uh, here and for a lengthy term of races. I would imagine this will get us through uh, maybe close to two seasons given the number of races. We'll have to count the number of races on the calendar. But yeah, this would should easily get us through one season, if not uh, multiple seasons, just depending on the number of races. So let's go take a look at the calendar real quick. So if we start at Brazil. We've got one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. So yes, week forty-three is race number sixteen. So it does look like we have okay. There's one sponsor that will be up at the end of the year, but otherwise we're going to be into our second season on most of these sponsors. Okay, looks like we've got. Uh, the ability to search, there is a driver's list here, and which gives us the ability to change the order around, uh, as well as 
do some work with the different age ranges along with all of the different ranges for uh, the different abilities, speed, experience, concentration, and so on. Okay, so very nice there. They've even got purple on some of the higher levels to make it easy to find out. We'll go ahead and reset everything there. Okay, so very, very nice there. Let's see if, what happens if we click on someone. Okay, we've got energy, morale, uh, of course, age, and nationality. And then all of their various stats. So, okay, so some very nice information available to us. I would imagine the staff is going to be similar. As we try to click on somebody, no. We cannot click on anyone except, looks like for a few of these. Okay, I assume these are the ones, the ones that show contract offer. Okay, we're going to go ahead and decline that. But these are the ones I assume that have interest in working for our team. It, just go out on the limb here and assume that's what that is. Okay, and so we've got chief designers there, race engineers. Interesting. Okay, so we'll move on to engines. Uh, let's see, which engine are we using? Uh, Marcolini, okay, it looks like the one we have, which is right here. Let's see how that stacks up just at the very beginning. We already know we have great power. Reliability, not so much. But we do have great power, and our weight doesn't stack up well. So let's see. We can get very good weight, but terrible power. Okay, this is actually very nice. Pearson engines, uh, good power. Better reliability based on what we currently have. And then the weight is also very good, which, of course, weight is always crucial in racing. So a lot of potential decisions to be made there. Um, right now, I can't really click on anything. Let's see what we have uh, for a help menu. We've got three parameters for each engine. The level of power directly affects the speed. Okay, that makes sense. Reliability, more the better. Yeah, the unreliable engine is the only reason of car breakdown okay it says until and then it stops there so does that mean we're not going to have to worry about the reliability of other parts and pieces on the car interesting then we've got weight the high weight can significantly reduce the level of engine power okay that's a bit odd the engine manufacturers will present this novelty occasionally improving one or other parameters okay so these engines can change from year to year so there's going to be some randomness to it that's actually not bad at all so i think we get the idea of what they're trying to tell us here it appears as though almost as though english is not the native language of the developers here uh, like this might have been translated to an extent so obviously we want higher power higher reliability and lower weight so that's ultimately what we want, but it seems like we don't have too terrible of an engine. Uh, there are certainly some that could be uh, better, which you see here. You know, Zondex is a very reliable engine, very good weight, and pretty good power along the way as well. So, some good options there. Let's move into our car, and we'll look at projects available. All right, so this is going back to Motorsport Manager. It looks like you have development over the course of of a year and you notice that everything is 2019-1 so these are our starting components on the car we've got uh, front and rear wings underbody cooling side pods suspension brakes steering gearbox and then finally electronics and of course right now all of our uh, components are pretty low on their uh, performance so that's to be expected we knew that coming in so we have the ability to start up a new project. Uh, it looks like we've got free staff, 39 staff. So that's where we would get back into uh, upgrading some of these, I would guess, designers. Okay, we got 39 designers. Is that what we're showing here? Yes, 39. So, okay, so as we start to upgrade that, we can have more staff available. Uh, just for fun, let's go ahead and put one of these into development. Let's start with suspension. And it looks like we've got slots for 50 staff total, and we have 39. So, okay, so it's going to go a little bit slower than it possibly could. But again, that's all up to us and how much money we're going to spend on developing our car 
versus how much money we spend on other things such as our drivers. All right, so we'll go ahead and let's do front and rear wing. So we'll have these three pieces uh, to get started on. Of course, we only have enough staff to work on the suspension for now. All right, let's come back under development. And so under development, you see any parts and pieces that we've already uh, worked on and completed through through our development phase, our project phase. Uh, for So for right now, we have two front wings. Both of these are 2019-1, indicating this is our first iteration of the season. All right, so along the way, it looks like what we're going to be doing is we'll line up some projects here. So, for instance, as soon as suspension is done, it'll be 2019-2. Again, it... Uh, letting us know that it is the second iteration of this particular season. So as soon as it's done, it should pop up over here as available. So whenever we do a new part, then we would be able to select that, I would imagine. So that's my guess on how this is going to go along the way. Uh, and then we go to car setup. And this, again, looks very familiar to what we saw in Motorsport Manager, where we can choose which car gets which parts. And of course, at the beginning of the season, uh, everything is our first iteration, so nothing really to choose there. One thing I do notice is our condition is 100 out of 100 on all of these parts. So we'll see how different races affect these parts, but we're starting out from maximum condition. All right, and then finally, we come to our finances. So right now, of course, we don't have uh, anything in the way of revenue or cost, uh, we just have our main balance here. One thing I did notice in the team is you notice all of these salaries and costs are per week, and then our revenue is per race. So we're going to have to do a little bit of math to see what our uh, amount per week that we can afford uh, based on our sponsorship levels could be. Uh, but for right now, we're not going to worry uh, a whole lot about that. We're just, again, trying to get a feel for the game before we and decide if we're going to jump in uh, beyond that. All right, so on our calendar, we know we need to get to week seven. Uh, and so for that, we're going to see how much we can actually get done uh, as far as our projects before then. So let's go ahead and continue to week two. And let's see, how do we do on our project? Oh, wow, 43 out of 50. So we almost got done. In fact, my guess would be had we had a full 50 staff to put on this, that we could have gotten this done in one week. So very nice. So we'll go ahead and, and continue another week. And there we go. So a project has already been completed. There you see our uh, second iteration of suspension. So let's go ahead and queue that up in development. Uh, that should be here under new parts. And sure enough, there we go. So let's take a quick look at what kind of improvements we made. Looks like we made uh, plus eight on quality and plus nine reliability, nine on weight. I assume the higher the number, the better on weight, indicating that it weighs less. And then uh, our points at 97. Not sure what that actually means, unless that's maybe starting reliability. I'm not sure. Uh, but it uh, looks like we've got zero of 97. And once again, we have 39 staff to put on there. So we've got our first part queued up for development and all right so let's keep going to the next week week four and you can see here we've got object updates uh periodically through here let's see if there's anything in our mailbox yeah looks like that's the same thing from our mailbox so let's come back under projects looks like we're almost done with our second project so now we have an idea of the time frame of these okay but it's going to take longer for sure in the development phase right now uh, let's take a look at our tooltip see what we have uh, to produce the parts you need to develop a project from them first okay for usability the last developed projects are displayed in down screen block okay so that would be at the bottom again I, I think English all of this has been translated so we'll try to figure it out as we go along each part required a different number of development points. Okay, that's good to know. So 97 won't necessarily be for all of the parts. 
Depends on the optimization skill of your designer. Okay, good. Notice money will have been writing off during the production of the first part. Okay, so apparently there's some amount of cost related to this. I'm assuming that's beyond uh, the, the budgetary settings that we're using. I'm not sure. We'll have, again, that's one of those things that uh, time will tell. All right, so let's come back to projects. We still are fine there in our queue. Okay, looks like we've got some options here at the bottom, just letting us know our last five projects, which could be helpful, keep you from having to flip back and forth on the screens. Okay, so we're up to week five, and I believe seven is what we're looking for. Yes, test at Monaco there. All right, so we're now ready for our rear wing, which means that we're ready to queue up another development. Still not quite done with our suspension, uh, but let's go ahead and queue up a front wing now that we had our second iteration. And again, we'll take a quick look here. So it looks like uh, plus five, plus nine, eight. Okay, and still, we don't know what the points are here. But we're going to go ahead and queue that up. And you can see it's going to take actually a bit more for the front wing than it's going to take for the suspension. All right, so that's definitely giving us an incentive uh, to, to upgrade our team here. So we've got currently design 39 and engineer 39 as far as the staff goes. So upgrades are certainly in order there. All right, let's go ahead and move forward. I do like that they show the events at the bottom of the screen. So very nice. So far, so good. We're going to keep things going. Uh, let's go ahead and put up, we'll just go down the list here for a little while. That'll queue up a few different things. And let's see, are we quite ready? Not quite ready for the rear wing. Okay, so development, you can see that uh, we are done with our suspension. So there's our second iteration and it comes out at 100 condition. So again, there's something that's different from the way Motorsport Manager went about things with the durability aspect. All right, let's move forward. I'm interested to get to this test session. All right, so let's see what this is going to do. So we've got our first test session. Uh, before we do that, let's go and make sure we've got our queue ready to go. And it looks like we should be able to queue up a rear wing now. Okay, good. Let's come in under car setup and we should have an additional suspension components. So we're just going to give it to driver number one here. So we'll take care of that and it should be the only uh, part we the new part that we have right now. So let's go ahead and click continue and see what we get from our test session. And okay, so we didn't get to select anything there. We just got a result. So our points, uh, we didn't do very well. We indeed came in last. Uh, although, looks like in speed we weren't quite at the very bottom of the grid, 15th and 16th. So Okay, not sure what to make of that uh, real quick. Again, it, it was not a points paying event, just a test session, but still, uh, that is something to keep an eye on. Okay, so everything on our projects is moving right along. And let's see, on our development, uh, are we done with the underbody? Apparently we are. So let's go ahead and queue that up. I do like that we can queue these things up in advance advance uh, because somewhere along the way as we continue to upgrade our staff we should be able to work on multiple of these at one time at least i'm hoping all right let's come back to our uh setup let's see do we not have okay we're not quite done there all right so test session number two nothing really to change in the car setup at this point because we're still waiting for that second part to be developed uh, here. Okay, not quite as good. 14 and 21 uh, still at the very bottom of the grid. So we certainly have quite a bit of work to do, but I kind of like it that way. Uh, it just makes things more fun. You can see we've got quite a bit of news here. And well, I thought we did. So nothing for eight or nine. 
All right, looks like we've got some contracts being signed for next season. So uh, if we start doing a regular playthrough, we're going to have to get started on our uh, team members for the next season because it looks like that is certainly something that the AI is, is doing quite a bit of. All right, so development looks like we are done with part number two, which is our front wing. So we're going to go ahead and once again... Uh, give that to driver number one. And so now we'll let it work on uh, the rear wing. So it certainly looks like we could use some more uh, development staff. That's for sure. All right, so now we've got one more test session in the U.S. And you can see our driver number one, uh, Vincenzo, is he's moved up a little bit. He's moved up to 11th, uh, and then we're 16th. So we're certainly better off here in, at the US GP as opposed to the first two tests. But so that got us out of last. And we'll take all the help we can get. All right, so now it looks like we've got a few weeks to go before we get to the first weekend in Brazil. And that is something I really want to get to. So let's go ahead and get the queue going. All right, let's see. We've gotten all the way down through suspension so let's go ahead and queue up just to keep things simple right now we'll go ahead and queue these up uh, in an actual playthrough we want to pay much more attention to uh, these important parts and just sort of get an idea for what those are and what we might want to focus on in the near term on our projects and development all right so it looks like development still working on that rear wing Okay, and of course, uh, at any time we want to, we could always queue up and go right into iteration number three and four and so on. Uh, don't necessarily have to go in order or do all of the parts of the car. Certainly don't have to do that, and it's something we probably would not do in an actual playthrough. So let's look. Development. Uh, rear wing should be done this next time. Okay, it is indeed. All right, so once again, driver number one is going to get the brand new parts because we're only making one of the EV each of these parts uh, for right now. Okay, let's develop a new underbody. Oh, we're already doing that. So let's do cooling, side pods, just so we can get some things in the pipeline here. Sort of see how that works. So we got two side pods cooling and underbody so we could get rid of one of the side pods if we wanted to and brakes there we go all right so it looks like our projects are certainly going to be done at a much quicker rate than our development but again that's perfectly fine all right so we've got it looks like our brand new parts are all set for right now and i'm not sure that we're going to get a new part for the underbody before that first race weekend so let's go ahead and keep an eye on it just in case. All right, there we go. We are ready for Brazil. And nope, not quite going to get there. We'll take one quick look at the car setup, and then we'll get ready for our first race. So it looks like we've got the best component we can on car number one all the way around. Again, everything is at 100 on condition. All right, that's all I see that we can do here on this screen. Let's click continue. And all right, so we've got race set up. Uh, oh, qualification result. Okay, so we couldn't do anything. No practice. No qualifying. We just had to take what we had. So we come out 11 and 14 on the grid. Very nice, considering there's 24 cars total on the grid. So we'll certainly take that. Uh, let's do our race setup. And let's see what we want to do. So we've got 60 laps. And uh, let's see what we got. So normal tire wear, normal fuel consumption. Uh, should, overtaking should be easy if we have the speed to do it. And wow, a lot of information here. The uh, 21 laps, 29, 37. So it looks, looks like there's not a whole lot here. Uh, so how about let's split up the strategy here just to see how things go. We're going to go the soft tires on car number one, medium on 
too. So we're going to be cutting it close on the tire life. We're going to do a two-stop strategy. Uh, it looks like you have at least one stop that you're going to have to deal with. Uh, so let's go ahead and do... That is not what I intended. Okay, let's do enough fuel. Let's go 22. And here we're going to go... Uh, I guess there's really no reason to try to go... I'll tell you what. Yeah, let's just go ahead and give 25 fuel so we can try to spread these guys out at least a little bit. We already know poor Colin here is not going to have the performance level uh, that Vincenzo is going to have. So there we go. So two-stop strategy for both of them. Uh, actually, I tell you what. Let's let's go let's go back here. Uh, let's 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 use this hard tire. Not sure that's a great idea, but hey, let's see if we can do this thing in. In one stop, we're going to go, go ahead and give a little bit of extra fuel. Uh, so we're going to do two-stop strategy here. So we'll stop on around lap 20 and then around lap 40 or so. And then we'll stop somewhere around halfway point of the race here. All right, I think that's uh, a good idea to split these strategies up. Let's head to the race. Very interested to see what happens here. And... Oh, so everything is started. I hope there was nothing. Hold on here. Hold on, let's pause. Uh, what all can I do? Let's see, we've got standings, best laps, and retired. Okay, so that's easy enough. Uh, condition and fuel. We've got pit stop strategy and car condition. Okay, so everything's at 100 at the start. Uh, what do these do? Stay out, save tire, push. Let him pass and try to overtake. All right, so very interesting. Okay. So let's go ahead and have him push. And can we select two of these? Try to overtake. Yes, we can. So we can get very aggressive here. So it looks like we've got two and two. We can choose one of the first two and then one of the second two. So we'll put this guy on full overtake mode, which will probably uh, kill his tires. Too early, so we may have to back out of that. Uh, let's have him push as well, but we're not going to select anything here. Uh, yeah, just to get going. Let's go ahead and add a pit stop. So we can go ahead and do this uh, ahead of time. So lap, we're going to say lap 20... One, yeah, we should be able to do that. Okay, and we'll continue with the soft tires, assuming no rain, of course. Uh, I don't see any rain tires available, so that might be an automatic selection. All right, hold on here, hold on. Game wants to, to get started for me. I'm trying to set up some pit stops here. All right, so lap 41, and again, we'll give a little extra fuel. And we will put on the... Oh, we only have two sets of the soft tires. Okay, so, well, that changes things. So we'll have to go to the medium tire on that second uh, pit stop. All right, so we'll see how that goes. And you can see, once again, it's going to keep things going. We'll keep it on the first level there. Let's go ahead and add our, what should be our only stop here. And we'll have him do it on 31. Uh, he should have plenty of fuel to get there. we got 32 laps showing. And we'll do the same thing. 32 laps, and we'll have him put on the hard tires, and hopefully I got this right. Something tells me I probably didn't, though. Uh, so let's see what we got for fast forward here. Okay, so that certainly speeds things up a little bit, but not, not a ton. I mean, you can see it's still fairly slow, and laps are going to take quite a while, even at this pace. So we are in 11th and 14th right now. Okay, what happens if we go to this final fast forward? Oh my goodness. 
Okay, uh, that is pretty fast. That is really fast. I would really like to have uh, some additional options here. That is way too fast. Uh, that's basically if you want to set up your pit stops at the very beginning and then uh, after that come in and fast forward through the entire race and just leave everything the same. Okay, that is an interesting toy choice of uh, fast forward speeds. All right, so we're on lap eight. Wow, 11. These laps are flying by. Okay, so everything looks... Wait, that doesn't look right. That doesn't look right at all. All right, let's see. If, can we do this again? So lap 21... Uh, the, the condition of our tires is still great. That's that's very weird. And for some reason, why have we already come into the pits? Why did we come into the pits? I just now noticed that. Pits one for Vincenzo, which would be driver number one over here. Why did he come into the pits? Oh, he ran out of tire, I bet. Okay, so during all that fast forwarding, we ran out of tire, so he had to pit for tires. Okay, now I'm with you. So here I was thinking his tire life was doing pretty good, and it was considering he was on his second tire. So now, really, and, and that's why we're doing this as we're doing it, uh, just having a little fun here, trying some things out. So trying to overtake and push certainly is going to ruin our tires much quicker. That makes sense, and I'm happy that that's the way that works. Uh, on the other hand, we're pushing here, and he has not as of yet. No, he has not made a pit stop. So 43% tire. Now, will he make it all the way to the midpoint of the race uh, is an entirely different question. So let's go ahead and just go back into fast forward. So we messed up driver number one here. That certainly isn't going to work out. All right, so you can see we are getting close to lap 30. Uh, let's actually have him uh, save tires. So let's see, let's see if we can make it to the halfway point. Uh, how is Vincenzo, Vincenzo going? Uh, wow. All right, so he's going through some tires. He's now on his first set of mediums. So it looks like medium tires are the play for this particular race, uh, at least if you want to push that is. Uh, one interesting note is I don't see any tire heat or uh, performance wear really. So everything is doing good on that end. So certainly some differences. All right, let's see if we get our stop in. So Colin is number three. There he is. Right there, so he is in 10th. Uh, part of that is because he has not made his first pit stop. Uh, and interestingly, uh, Vincenzo is, he's made two stops and he's still in 16th position. I would have expected, given the status of our car, that we would be at the very bottom down here, but we are not. So for our purposes right now, we are simply going to uh, go full fast forward and let this play out however it is. Again, it's sort of messed up at this point. But we're learning. That's kind of the idea. Let's see how this progresses. And we'll slow it down as we get toward the very end. So it does look like you have the option. Okay, let's go ahead and fast forward with a couple of laps to go. So Vincenzo has made five pit stops. Again, we're, we have him pushing as hard as he can just to see how that works. But he's made five pit stops. So pushing the entire time certainly isn't your best option. And Colin only made the one stop and certainly appears as though he's going to have plenty of fuel and certainly plenty of tire as we approach the end. So overall, not bad. And we're not going to finish last, even with five pit stops. So the, the age old question in racing, particularly one in which you're going to have to change tires a lot, uh, potentially, and that is, do you push, use more tire, uh, and or more fuel 
for more speed at the expense of more pit stops? Or do you try to save more like what we were doing with car number two and make fewer pit stops, but you're going slower? So the age old question that is different with uh, most every track. All right, not bad. Now we were two laps down. That's not necessarily great, but 15th and 18th. So not bad. Now, based on the point structure, which I'm assuming is moddable as well in the files, uh, we're not going to get any points until we make it up into the top six. So that's something to keep in mind. But uh, overall, not bad. Not bad at all. So we'll go ahead and collect, uh, select continue. And I think that's going to do it for today. So hopefully this video has been a great way for you guys to see just some of the inner workings of the game. I know my eyes have been opened on a few things I wasn't sure about, and I'm really glad we did that first race the way we did with the different strategies, just so we can see how things work out and what kind of variables you have within uh, each of the drivers and teams. So overall, hey, a pretty successful very first race. So we'll end it here. Thank you very much for joining me, and stay tuned as we will continue our gameplay of Open Wheel Manager.